Welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. I hope you are well. Well, this is the state of my garden in this fall season. As you can see, the grapevine has pretty much lost all of its leaves and it's sleepy time. And then my blueberry plant here has leaves on it. So looks like it's doing well, but you know, it's probably sleeping too right now as well. And I decided to plant my peas. I have three variety of peas and I planted these in this garden bed. I have one version here. Look how tall they've gotten. These are <laughs> two feet tall. And these are the sh pea sugar, super sugar snap peas. I planted them on September 18th. I was watching the uh, almanac, farmer's almanac, and they gave that date. And so I decided to follow along and listen and whoa they did great you see the little bites in here because those caterpillars they um have been eating on the leaves but there has been plenty plenty of peas so i have some to pull here to pick they've been growing and i've been doing a lot of pulling them out cutting them at their little base here and i'll put them in a container like this as you can see there's a lot in there and these are how many I got from here already here in this part of Southern California it's been like 80s and then now it's back down to like 75 72 so it's just ideal weather for peas to just keep on doing its thing now my lavender also has been doing amazingly well you see the bees are enjoying the lavender as well see there's a bee right there yeah bees getting his loving on with that lavender plant so the lavender has loved these corners of the raised bed there's another type of lavender and in here as you can see I have lettuce growing let's see if I can get down a little closer got the lettuce growing there bunches of lettuce and some nasturtiums are growing right here. I was so surprised. They're so they finally came up. I planted these seeds back in spring. Nothing happened. And now they just came out of nowhere. So I'm very happy to see them too. And over here is another variety of peas. Here as well. And these peas, let me see what the type is okay here we are these are progress number nine peas i also as you can see planted these in september as well and these were slower to grow and as you see they're about mm, i'll say about a feet and a half tall so um but you see how beautiful these are ready to go and so i'm gonna go ahead and add those to my batch here and just keep uh cutting at the base here i do is i just like to put these in salads and or sometimes I stir fry them but um, I'm gonna put a mixture of these in my dinner dish I'm gonna do with some spaghetti squash I also had growing and I'm gonna make a dish with that like a squash casserole but these are ready to go and I just cut right here and I put them in a plastic container seal the container and I put it in the refrigerator and they last they last for a good mm, week or so, but I eat them really fast, so I don't let them last for a week. But from what I've shown, seen, they, they last a, a while in a sealed container. And then when I'm ready to eat them, I just cut off this part here, snip off this part, snip off the end, and then if there's a, a piece of a string in here, I take that out and I just pop them in my mouth. They're really good. These are cherry bell radishes. As you can see, I started these in October and as you can see, let's see, you see some, you see the bottoms there. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh yeah, there it is. You see how it's sticking out right there? That one's probably about ready to come out. They said you just have to test it and see. Yep, that's a radish. It's ready to go. Yay! 
So it was sneaking, sticking its head out of the soil there. So this one's ready to go. And wow, guys, look at all of these peas I've gathered so far from just two of my sets of pea uh, plants. I think I planted about two, four, six, eight per pea. So I had eight on one side, eight on the other, and eight on a third plot of three different types. So they are gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? And they said you know that they're ready because the length of them should be the length of your hand. And as you can see, that's the length of my of my four fingers together. So that one's ready to go. It's very beautiful, huh? So tasty. They're nice and sweet. They're just so earthy and sweet. Just amazing. Just like this or steamed. So I think my casserole dish, squash casserole dish is going to be amazing with some broccoli and this. Pretty cool. I still have my Salvia Bright Eyes. She grew so massively that I had to cut her back. And as you can see, she makes them beautiful red flowers there. And she's starting to make more now. So she's definitely a grower. So I thought I would add flowers, a mixture of plants, as well as vegetables in my garden bed, which has been really, really great, beneficial for me. And then this cactus here was a baby and he is just loving sitting here because he gets a little shade from her, the bright eyes, but he does get enough sun as well. So he's nice and bright, bright green as well. And there's another nasturtium just coming up in the back. Like I said, I planted all these earlier in the year and nothing happened. And I guess the temperature is perfect right now. So they are all coming up and budding up. In this little area, I planted some carrots and they are finally coming up. I have about four that made it. One, two, three, and one over here is four. And so they're just getting started. This big guy, I just checked him. He's not ready yet, but wow, they are doing their thing. I'm keeping this area moist. As you can see, I still have my drip irrigation going strong. It's really doing well. And um, yeah, we're gonna have carrots soon. I also have carrots growing in a pot. I heard that that's a good place to grow them as well. So I wanted to do a test and grow them in the garden bed, but also in a pot. So these are just coming up, looking great. So I planted these in October. These are the half long carrots. And here's another uh, grapevine. This is a Suffolk. As you can see, it's in its dormancy stage. But it'll be back and I've been keeping the still been keeping the soil moist anyway uh, so but it'll be back next year and here is a pumpkin this is actually an orange jack-o-lantern it was so small I didn't think it would grow so it's just started to grow now and as you can see it's flowering a lot the bees are loving it and I'm just letting it go doing what it's doing um, I do see it's starting to make a little some bud little as you can see having its females on it now. So a lot of males popped up. These are all male flowers. So I'm starting to see some female flowers coming now. So maybe I'll get a pumpkin, never know. But it's growing, so I thought I would just let it continue to thrive. I went ahead and cut back my California Wonder Pepper. And it is definitely gonna be doing some things next year. It's trying to even make some more leaves now but I cut it back so it can be ready to hopefully give me some peppers early in the season um, as you can see I still have tomatoes which is I am just amazed by this this Amelia I got this as a transplant it was on its deathbed of um, survival I babysat it um, and then I said you know what let's go ahead and put it out here before it got um, too cold and it has just thrived I've had so many tomatoes it's unbelievable and as you can see I have still so many tomatoes so I'm just gonna let it go as long as it wants to and um, when it starts to die off it's a determinant form of tomato this Amelia I've been cutting off some of the leaves to kind of keep it a little more organized and neat but as you can see it's a lot of tomatoes here look at these they're just everywhere Look at that, how beautiful they are. Nice and big, huh? Yeah, look at that. I'm just waiting for them to ripe up and get a little red, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take them in the house. And I've been eating them just like this, slicing them in salads, 
um, and they have just been very delicious. Here I have an okra. I started this okra from seed just to see what it would do. As you can see, I have one little okra here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just test it out, see how it goes. And I know it really likes hot weather. So it's been so warm. So I guess that's why it's trying to give me some fruit, but we'll see how that one goes as well. And here is my asparagus plant. As you can see, it's just growing very, very tall. So I had to put up a little stability here with some clamps. And so they say first year, just let it grow and go into flower. And then next year, I'll be able to take, snip some of the asparagus plant off, some of the asparagus is off and eat them. But they said to just, you know, do it sparingly every year. And asparagus is a perennial. I learned that this year. So that's pretty cool. So I should have this plant for a very long time. And these again are cherry bell radishes. I decided to put some in two raised beds to see if it mattered which side, which raised bed would produce better. And they seem to all be doing great. I have pulled already out five out of here. So um, these are doing very well. Um, yeah, I'm just checking the root there to see if it's ready. No, not yet. Almost, it's getting big there. But I have my mom's right here, her doing their thing too. And some more of this beautiful lavender that the bees are absolutely loving. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, here's my final bed of peas. These are snowbird peas. I've been getting a lot off of here since they started. I also started these in September and look at them go. I'm gonna be going ahead and harvesting these peas as well because they're good to go. See the length? They're ready to go too. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. They have been giving me so many peas. I'm so happy about that. So I'll be harvesting these as well and putting them in my container, sealing that container and put them in the refrigerator until I'm ready to eat them. So I have just been enjoying my first year of gardening, learning a lot, making a lot of mistakes, but I'm so happy that I finally came to some type of level of normalcy where I can add on. So I'll keep you guys posted. So thank you so much for coming along with me um, on my follow-up of my fall garden was growing and I hope to keep you guys posted. I did start some brassicas. They're still babies, so I didn't want to put them out here yet, but I'll let you guys know soon as they go out to the garden beds as well. All right, take care guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.